，天天闻到大麻味是什么感受？ Comes on really strong. So it doesn't smell. It doesn't smell any worse than a skunk rat. So. 你知道吗？呼麻在加拿大不仅合法，还是年轻人间私底下的休闲娱乐。对他们来说，吸大麻是很正常的事。More like how to be a cool kid. 加拿大政府在二零一八年开始把娱乐用的大麻合法化，是全球第二个这么做的国家，仅次于乌拉圭，让成年人可以合法购买和使用，甚至能在自己家里种大麻。Has now passed Bill C-45, which will legalize and strictly regulate access to cannabis. 因此，合法的大麻店在加拿大各大城市如雨后春笋般的冒出来，商店一间一间的开，相关的商品也一个一个的出。Oh, these are drinks. Yeah, those are the beverage. 于是，这个曾被视为非法的毒品开始光明正大的出现在我们日常生活中。呼麻不再偷偷摸摸，让加拿大成为了名副其实的大麻之都。How often do you encounter the smell? Every day. We're in Vancouver. We're in the city of marijuana. Yeah. So, in the smell of marijuana, the five years after the law was passed, the society became better or worse? Do the people have any opinions about this big policy? First, what is marijuana? Marijuana is a plant. It usually refers to its flowers and flowers used as medical and recreational uses. For decades, many countries have classified it as a legal drug. The reason is because of its health risks and its potential for abuse. So, it is considered a drug that must be controlled. What effect does marijuana have on the body? How much do you know about cannabis in terms of its benefits or drawbacks? It is really good for people who suffer from pain, like people who are high stress, people who are more down, people who are anxiety, like people who are really stressed. Kind of relax and stuff. Many of The medical professionals are uh, recommending that. Have you seen people having good times, very happy, and you know, very mm -hmm. relaxed? Have you heard of any, say, side effects or uh, drawbacks? No, I haven't. I don't think it's good for kids. People say it's a gateway drug, is a drawback, but I personally don't know anyone who started with weed and went harder and harder and harder looking for relief. The same with the cigarettes. Why people smoke? Because it's usually a habit. You need to take something in your head. 根据研究，吸食大麻可以缓解焦虑、减少疼痛，有些成分还会让人觉得嗨，但是也会导致认知功能下降，引起呼吸困难，损害心理健康，甚至产生依赖。听起来很明显的弊大于利呀、啊。而吸到二手麻就跟吸到二手烟一样，都有可能对孕妇和孩童的身体健康有不好的影响。而且我们天天都会吸到二手麻，真的很臭。出去散步，住家附近就一堆啊，连接送小朋友上下学都能闻到。哎。Do you often smell weed? I do. It happens sometimes. Almost every day. I don't like it. <laughs> Worse than usual cigarettes. Better to feel Chanel number no. five than. <laughs> What's your feeling towards the smell? It's okay. Compare that to cigarettes. Yeah, I would uh, rather stay away from the cigarette smell. Don't love the smell, but it doesn't smell any worse than a skunk rat. So. That's true. Skunks. They're abundant in Vancouver. I never thought about that. 大麻视为非法的时候，就已经慢慢的渗透青少年的生活。I was 18 years old. I felt like they're really cool. I was like hesitant, but when I saw like my brother and his friends and like everything was good, I decided to try it. 药头可能会在学校附近、社区内，或者是其他青少年会去的活动场所吸引他们去尝试。They experimented a bit in high school. They had like a chocolate cake at a party. Didn't know that there was. Okay. Huh? I was walking to school when I was walking to school. I would see some students in the lab smoking weed. Luckily, the fox was a good student. We didn't join together. How did you first get in contact with them? My friends were trying when I was in high school. How many times did you try? Once. Just once. And I've never touched it again. When I witnessed it in high school, like I found that made my peers lazy, not really care about goals and school, and it just kind of made them spaced out. Like I would be talking to them, and they weren't able to carry like an intelligent conversation. And Canada's Tobacco Minister Li Xuanzhen said that legal marijuana can help young people escape from the criminal justice system, reduce crime, and protect children's health. Because it protects our kids and keeps money out of the pockets of criminal organizations. Because it protects our kids and keeps money out of the pockets of criminal organizations and street gangs. Because it protects our kids and keeps money out of the pockets of criminal organizations and street gangs. Because it protects our kids and keeps money out of the pockets of criminal organizations and street gangs. Because it protects our kids and keeps money out of the pockets of criminal organizations and street gangs. Because it protects our kids and keeps money out of the pockets of criminal 法化过了五年之后，与其相关的青少年犯罪率下降五十到六十五 percent。哎呦，不错哦！政府的税收增加了四百三十五亿元，头塞雷呀、啊！但也因如此，大麻的使用数量增加，也造成了许多新的社会问题，像是吸麻成瘾跟中毒，造成紧急医疗情况增加。哎呀，甚至还有小朋友误食大麻糖果被送去医院的消息。No.
。目前在加拿大营业的大麻店就有超过三千六百家。带着研究的精神和好奇心，我进入了一家位于温哥华市中心的大麻贩卖店，了解到里面卖的商品种类有热卖商品如预卷烟、食用油、饮料、饼干、软糖等等。This one is a brownie, chocolate, chocolate. Okay, Oreo. 有些会引发精神迷幻，有些则只会帮助减压与减缓疼痛，而不会让人嗨。That means you just have a mild feeling. What kind of feeling can you describe? Feel a little bit warm. You feel a little bit increase in heartbeat. You feel a little bit happy. You feel excited. Now we know that cannabis consumption comes in many forms, including candies and baked goods. So how often do you encounter those kind of products in your daily life? If I'm going out to party or something, I do see people having those gummies, cookies, and muffins and whatnot. Did you get to try them? No. Has anyone ever tried to encourage you to try? Yeah, nowadays. And would you want to try or you um, won't? I'm hesitant. Not? Unless it's like doctor approved, then I don't feel safe. No, I just try to have like a healthier lifestyle. If I'm quite happy with what I have, occasionally enjoy a glass of wine or so a little bit booze. What do you get? Just does it. Everyone thinks that their product is going to work. People are just trying to sell things versus if they actually work or helpful. I want to get stuck needing anything. One of the major customer for us is hoping they don't want to get high. They come inside because they want the benefit of the tea. My parents, especially, because they're older and a pain that they just can't get rid of without heavy, like expensive medications. So, I mean, for them, that's great. Wonderful Halloween is on August 20th. It was called Dama Day. It was used as a protest against the illegal drug trade. But now, it's become a way to protest the illegal drug trade. I think it's been legalized for five years. Yes. How has it been for your for your business? It's so good. This five years is not not that long. Not long enough. Yeah, Do you think the government has been helpful a lot, or are they trying to restrict more so, to your business? Both way. They both try way. to help. But on the other hand, the, the restriction is very strict. When you go for the liquor store, you can bring a baby in. But if you come to oh, the liquor store, oh, when you hold a baby, you cannot come in. 其实这个大麻日是非常有争议性的，近两年都举办在海滩旁或公园，但明明公园是禁止抽烟的，而且草坪也因为一堆人踩在上面而被踩烂。但是举办方会说这是一个抗议活动，而不是一个节日，所以可以避开罚款。大麻在加拿大已经无所不在，对我们一般人的生活还造成了什么影响呢？ When it was first legalized, I felt like I smelt it every day. I couldn't get away from it; it would bother me. Does it happen a lot near your home, near where you live? Yeah, there's a lot there. When I used to smoke, I developed some kind of addiction to it. So every time I smell it, it kind of like triggers that. It brings back your memory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of my family members smoke weed every day, or they use edibles on a daily basis. I wouldn't personally want it in my home. If she consumed it, she'd get hurt. Europe, it's not legal. When I just moved to Canada, I immediately <laughs> something new for me. Is it bothering you when you smell it? Yeah, because I don't want to. You know, a lot of my friends are smokers and are quite active smokers. And it's not bothering you. Well, those are my friends. It's their decision, but they're still a good people. OK， 所以大麻合法化对整个社会的影响，以现有的研究跟报告来说，还只是在初步的阶段，所以很难说它这个政策到底算不算成功。It's been five years since、yeah. the legalization. Do you support or oppose the legalization of cannabis? As long as professionals who do study the effects and if they are positive and if they are helping people, I think it's it's totally okay for for people to have it. As long as it's being used fairly and people are being helped by it, that's great. Maybe it's even Better to have it legalized. It's cheaper when people can easier get it. They are not so angry. Everybody more relaxed. It doesn't do any harm to people around. Like it tends to mellow people out. It doesn't make them aggressive. I think it's fine because before people like demonize it. You know, like ah,、oh, weed or whatever. As far as like addictions and drugs go, I feel like marijuana is on the lower priority. But do I support it? No. I have witnessed some benefits of it being legalized, but I don't think it's been enough to sway me to agree with it. I feel like we're sending the message that it's okay, and I just don't think it is okay to be high.
。那我自己是觉得，既然大麻合法化是为了有需要解决的社会问题，那就是看政府还要如何的监管，让已经在使用大麻的人呢，可以继续合法的去购买，然后同时呢，又不会吸引到太多之前没有使用过的人呢，都跑去尝试，造成更多人去使用大麻，引发更多社会的问题。So you went into the store just out of curiosity. Well, yeah, exactly. Just a few times to try it out. 如果出一个政策是为了解决一些社会问题，却反而引发了更多的社会问题，那 I smoked heavily during my youth. Now I am resenting it a bit. It did bring me some issues, like mental issues. Everybody say it's weed, nothing happens, but there are things that do happen. Like 那对我们一般家庭来说，我比较 concern 的是未来该如何跟我的两个小孩讨论这类的话题。As a parent, what are your concerns regarding legalization? It's going to be super accessible for my kids from a very young age. My kid can try it. After he maybe try, you know, first time, he will continue to smoke. I don't have concerns about that. It's more my concern. It's like, and from what I did, now and that I know did some repercussions on my mental health. I would advise him to not smoke. I can educate him. Tell him about my experience. I would not prohibit it to him. If I were to find out that he was smoking or being pressured by peers, I feel like I would have to take it all on myself to educate him and discipline him and all that. And I don't think I would have any help from the school, from the community, and even from the police. In your opinion, you think the government hasn't been able to educate the people in public about the awareness and its responsible consumption? You think the government hasn't done enough? Job. For example, they made a big decision without maybe thinking it all through. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's only been five years. Yeah, there's still a long way to go. For example, when you go buy a cigarette, right, you can see the warning sign on the box that tells you it's bad for your lungs. Okay, but yeah. not so much about cannabis. Yeah, right. 因为大麻合法化就在我们生活周遭，这是不会变的。而且合法化也不代表黑市没有继续流通，非法走私一定还会有，孩子也还是很有可能会在学校接触到 because. I think it's an important question because as a parent myself, I have a young kid too. Cannabis is everywhere now in Canada, so it's inevitable that they're gonna encounter it one day when they grow up. How comfortable are you with your son when he grows up as a teenager trying out or experimenting with cannabis? I wouldn't like it. It's not good when his brain is still developing. I prefer he does it when he's like an adult and you know knows everything about it. Probably he will try. As a parent, I will try do. All my best to explain him that it's not only one way to be relaxed. It's better to go hiking than to sit on one place and smoke. It's not the best way. I'm totally against it. Not in high school legal age, yes. Because at that point, I feel like they would have the ability to form their own decisions, and that they would know the pros and cons, and where. 13, 15 years away from this, but like maybe the education that the government creates will be a lot better surrounding the cannabis use. 我的孩子还小，所以只能浅显易懂的跟他们讲。可是未来等他们长大之后，我就要去思考该如何跟他们讨论这类的话题。Just be open and explain what it is. I think the way to go into the conversation would first be very clear on where you stand on it and show that you're not moving, like your foot's down. That kind of gives them clarity. If you're like swearing, swaying back and forth on the idea, they get confused and then they just kind of give up on even listening, right? What do you think is the best way to approach this topic with your kid? An example: I've never smoked. There are lots of different ways to relax, hang out, enjoy life, enjoy, and then kind of scaring them. That's how I stopped a lot of alcohol consumption. There's so many scary things that can happen. You could drink and drive. You could hurt somebody. They're not regulating what gets put on all of weed. Sometimes they're even putting harsh drugs on the weed, like spraying. Like it's not just a plant anymore. It's like a full-on drug. Our life is so amazing to spend time just sit and smoke. 然后每个家庭环境和价值观都不一样。我是觉得，与其一味的一直跟他们说不许碰，那你孩子越不许碰就越要碰，或放手不管，让孩子自己去摸索。那不如早一点跟孩子沟通，给他们一些指导，呃，或者陪他们一起去学习相关的知识，确保孩子懂得分析其中的利与弊，让他们之后可以自己做出明智的判断。Just be open about it. People use it. This is what people use it for. This is some of the side effects. This is when. You absolutely should never use it. Type of. It's just it's all about education, and as parents, like it is our job to help educate them. We encourage them.
So why not educate them against things that we're not necessarily against, but things that we would caution them against. When you prohibit something, people will do it more. I understand that you will eventually be exposed to the scares, kind of the education you should receive prior to encountering. And these are the things to keep in mind if you decide to try it. I don't know how to look at the law and the law. So you can leave a comment below and share it with us. If you want to know more about Canada or Canada, you can continue to watch this video. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.